Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I've got another LEGO seasonal set review for you guys. This is set number 40424, Winter Snowball Fight. It's got 149 pieces, two minifigures, and it retails for $12.99 in the US. So we get two unnamed children characters in this set. This is the boy. I really like this minifigure. Um, getting like Lego children in winter gear is always really cute, but I don't think I've seen this torso before. Um, I'm not sure if it's new or not, but just personally, I don't know where it's from. But I also really love his hat mold that was created a few years ago for the Arctic theme, I think in 2016. And it's just a great piece. It's dual molded. It's super detailed. Um, so whenever I get one of those, I really love to see it. The face is pretty generic. It's just that typical like unisex child face that Lego makes in both fleshy and yellow colors. Um, but it doesn't have the alternate face, which is kind of surprising because they do have a version of this face with a smile and then a frown. Um, so I would have expected them to put that face in this set because I'm sure you'd be frowning if you're hit with a snowball. Here's the girl minifigure for this set. Again, I don't know if her torso is new or not, but I don't remember seeing it before. I really love that color blue, so I think it's great to see that torso in that color. Um, I also like her scarf. I really love the scarf piece that they introduced with the Lego Ninjago movie. It just kind of annoys me that it's not made in more colors. We did finally start getting a couple more colors in 2020. We got lime green in the bookshop set, and we got red in one of the Chinese New Year sets. We were also getting dark red in Harry Potter minifigure series too, but I really wish that they would make the scarf in some other colors in sets like this. So with the scarf and hair removed, you can get a better look at the front of her torso and around the back. You can see she does have a really happy alternate face. I'm not sure where this face is from. I want to say it's from one of the Chinese New Year sets, but I'm not 100% sure. If it is, um, that would be kind of funny because the face in the Halloween Hayride set for the girl was also from a Chinese New Year set. And I think it's really great that they're getting those faces out like that because I really love this head. And she does come outfitted with skis and ski poles, which is really nice to see because I love that color of ski. It matches her torso perfectly. And the ski poles are returning in sand green from the Harry Potter line, which, you know, I always love to see those pieces. Lastly, we do have this husky piece. Again, um, I love getting this mold. I really love Lego dogs in general. Um, I'm really glad that they've started to do so many new breeds in recent years. And the way these are made is really cool because like the colors are injected into the mold. So like the marbling on each one is slightly different. So again, it's great to see these. I don't actually know the last time we saw Huskies, but they are more prevalent in city sets. So yeah, that's it for this guy. There are a bunch of builds in this set. So we're gonna start out by looking at just the smallest ones. All right, so here are some just small scenery pieces. You've got this tree. Um, this is like a classic old Lego tree, so that's really great to see, but it is kind of just standing there. Then we've got this little table with two mugs and some cookies. I think that's really cute. Um, it would have been great if they gave a couple chairs to go with it, maybe. Um, but again, it's just really great, and I like getting the mug in dark pink. And then over here, we've got this little sled, and it's got some snowballs in it. Um, I don't love the use of this piece for the snowballs, um, the studs with holes in them. Why would your snowballs have massive holes through the middle? I think they should have just used normal white studs, but these are more unique pieces and they're more useful for like custom, so can't really complain too much there. Um, the way this is built is kind of interesting. You've got like the boat studs on the bottom, and I really like that because it means you can rock it back and forth a little bit. And you can put a minifigure on the back right there, and then he can be guarding over his little stash of snowballs so that he can throw them at his friend. All right, then over here we've got this snowman. Um, I don't really love this snowman. I feel like they could have done a little bit better, honestly. Um, just, I think it's super blocky in the middle. Um, I feel like they could have found a way to make it less blocky in the middle. I also don't love the use of, the, of like the tooth piece for the nose. Um, it turns around a lot, which makes it look a little bit weird. Uh, I think they should just use like the unicorn horn piece in orange, which they've done before. That would make a lot more sense because it also wouldn't like spin around like that. On the side, you've got like the arms. They used to use those for Olaf. They're just like twig pieces. And then the scarf is built just with one of those like two by two plates with like that extra little bit with the hole. Again, feel like they could have done something a little more interesting there. There's no face or anything either, although you do have the little top hat. That's always great to see. But I don't think that this is one of the best snowmen that LEGO has ever made. I know they can do better. 
So for the first of the bigger structures, we've got a little hill here. I do like the way this is built. Um, I kind of just love snowy things in Lego in general, and I really like, you know, the color of these pieces. I think this is like a light aqua. Getting the tooth piece in translite blue is really nice. Um, you've got a little bit of a cave here almost with a translite blue crystal. That's great to see. You've got this little red flag on the top. Um, this is a little bit loose to me. I wish it was like kind of stuck in there more securely, but it's not too big of a deal. And then the whole idea with this is that there's a play feature here. So you can take the sled and put it on top. And then if you hit this little plunger at the back, he'll kind of go shooting down the hill. Um, again, it doesn't work like super well because um, I also don't want to spill all my, all my snowballs, but let's try it again. I mean, it works well enough. And this is the last build of the set. It's a little fort. I really love the way that this was built. Um, it's built using like those newer one by two rounded um, tiles with like the hollow studs. I really love that. You can make so many interesting shapes with that piece. And so I think like the way that they use this to build a fort on the corner is just genius. On the side here, you've got a little bit more like snow and ice detail. And then you've got another like catapult full of snowballs. So obviously the way that that works is you just hit this and you'll shoot the snowballs out. Works pretty well. Um, again, not much going on around the back. You've got a blue flag. That's nice because, you know, you have the red flag on the other side. Um, you know, maybe they're doing like capture the flag in a, snow in a snowball fight. But there's actually a lot of room back here. You can probably fit like two to three minifigures. So yeah, I think this is definitely my favorite build of the set. You've actually got a pretty nice selection of extra pieces here with an extra cookie, twig, and ski pole. I think that those are the coolest extra pieces. Here's the box for this set. It's like that typical $10 Lego box size. Around the back, you've just got some scenes showing what you can do with the set. Here's the instruction manual. Again, super basic. There's no um, ads or anything at the back for any other seasonal sets, which I think is kind of weird. So overall, I actually really like this set. You know, I've said it before, I'm a huge fan of like scenery based Lego seasonal sets as opposed to brick heads or just like display pieces like the ornaments. So I'm really glad to see Lego returning to that this year. There's a lot here to do for, for $13. I mean, you get that play feature, you get the catapult, you get two minifigures, a dog, and like plenty of scenery to set up your little winter scene. So I definitely recommend getting this if you are a fan of LEGO seasonal stuff. I love rotating out the displays every season. So like I said, I'm really glad they went back to that this year. And the minifigures in this year's seasonal sets are surprisingly great. You know, I really love that girl minifigure. Um, I think I think it's actually, it's, it's really cool, which, you know, I was just going to get this set because I like little winter sets. I wasn't even paying attention to her. So that's it for today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my new website, goldeninja3000.com. I'll have more videos coming soon. Bye for now.